What if I told you with some simple techniques you can improve your self-esteem? What if these same techniques will help you with self-love and self-acceptance? And the good part about these techniques, they work quickly. They don't take a lot of time and you will see the evidence of it very quickly in your life. And how we're going to do it? We're going to get in touch with your inner child and allow that inner child light to shine again in your life. And I'll go over five different techniques that you can do this. Now, when, after I meditate in the morning, I always pick one of these star seed cards. And this morning, it shows there's no coincidences in the world. It was stillness. And it said, reflect on this moment with love, kindness, and compassion. And that's what these exercises will do for you. You will reflect on yourself with love, with kindness, and with compassion. And the more self-love you have for yourself, the more you have to give others. And the more it will attract in your life the law of attraction. That's what happens. Now, I want to quickly welcome my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. And my channel is here to help you let your light shine, to help you teach you how to manifest the life that you want. If it's in relationships, in money, in work, I give all kinds of tools and techniques. So if that appeals to you, consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified on when my next video is. I post every week in all kinds of tools and techniques. But let's go ahead and get started on self-esteem and self-love. So we're going to talk about the three selves, self-love, self-esteem, self-acceptance. And what we're going to do is we're going to get in touch with your inner child. Think of yourself. Think of any child if you watch them. They have an innocence about them. They have a creativity about them. They're curious, they're playful. But as we go through life, we aren't in touch with that as much anymore. We may have some traumas, we may have our parents, our teachers, uh, partners that say things to us and eventually we put like a wall around us and we don't have that creativity. We don't have that curiousness anymore. And I'm not saying anybody did these things intentional. Your parents, your teachers are well-meaning, but it's like the wall goes up little by little by little. Maybe it was just a fence with holes in it, but then it's completely blocked. And that beautiful inner child that you are, and you still are, because your soul remembers that. So these exercises are going to get you back to that beautiful state of creativity. And again, the three selves, self-love, self-acceptance, and self-esteem. And who couldn't use more of that? And again, these five work quickly, very quickly. And the fifth one is probably my favorite. It is one I used from, I learned from a shaman healer when I was doing some healing work and trying to get in touch with my own inner child. And I learned it probably five, six years ago, and I still do it quite frequently. Okay, so here are the five. The first is I want you to picture yourself as you are today, but you're looking in the window of the home you were in when you were five years old. And you see yourself in that home and you're playing. And how, how do you look? How are you feeling? What are you doing? Who is there with you? What are you saying? Get in touch with that magical five-year-old that you are. You are still that. But again, peering in the window. And do you look happy and you're playing? And who's there with you? So that's the first. Peer in the window of yourself when you were five years old and capture that moment. Get that feeling. Capture it. So the second one is I want you to do a body scan. And go from your head to your feet, and I want you to send love to all the parts of your body. Your body is magnificent, and it is perfect just as it is. But over the years, again, maybe people criticized or said something, and you built up that wall, that fence. 
So send love to it. Send love to your eyes, to your lips, to your chest, to your legs. Send love to your body. It is, our bodies are amazing and we have to send love to it. So that's the second. The third is, this is kind of fun, it's going back to that five-year-old. I want you to paint or draw a portrait of yourself and maybe do two. Do one today and one when you were little, when you were five years old, that beautiful five-year-old child and the beautiful person you are today. Have fun with it. Maybe do markers, crayons, whatever. And it doesn't have to be perfect. But get the emotion, get it on paper. So that's a third. The fourth is I want you to reconnect with your childhood. And this is the number five we're gonna do. I guess it's five ways, but this is five. I want you to write down five foods that you enjoyed as a child. Five foods, and then eat one of them. Was it Jello? What was it? Five foods, peanut butter and jelly. Go eat one of those. And then five games. What were your favorite games that you played? And then you know what? Go play one of them. The next five, five of your favorite toys. What were they? And then go play one of them. I worked with a client because I'm a life coach and if you, I'm taking clients now so there's information down there about that. But I worked with a client this week and her favorite toys were doing something creative, arts and crafts. So I told her, after this, you need to go to Michael's and do an arts and crafts. Get in touch with that. So five toys. The next five movies you enjoyed as a child and then go watch one of them. What was it? Beauty and the Beast, The Wizard of Oz? Go watch it. So that's the fourth tip. The fifth, and this is the one that I learned um, from a shaman when I was doing some healing work. To close your eyes, and I do this sometimes after my meditation in the morning. Close your eyes and picture yourself at five years old. That beautiful child and you that child is in front of you in your mind's eye and you're talking to it. And you're telling your five-year-old self, I love you. You are perfect just the way you are. You are safe. Is there anything you wanna tell me? I am here for you. It only takes a few seconds and have that conversation with that five-year-old self. So the five ways I'm gonna go over, the one, peering in yourself at five in a window. The second, do a body scan, send your body love. The third, paint or draw yourself from five and today. The fourth, reconnect with your childhood, the five things. Remember, foods, games, toys, and movies. And the fifth, the last one, is picture yourself in your mind's eye as five-year-old and talk to yourself in a positive way. Now again, if you enjoy my videos, please consider the subscribe button and the bell. And also, if you want any information about coaching, that's below.